We're here this today doing an oil change on the 2015 Harley Davidson Freewheeler. <laughs> Click like below to subscribe. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to start by taking off the crank oil screw, whatever that is. Um, it's the lowest one. It's a 5 eighths inch wrench. Point to it again. Right here. Okay. This one right here, the lowest one. Okay. Don't touch that one. This one. Okay. Pause. Everyone got that? How do you pause? Pause your video. How do you pause? You just Hit stop the it. button. Okay. Just... So what we're going to do is we're going to take the screw off, but as you're taking it off, you've got to get the oil pan underneath it so that you don't get oil all over the floor. Okay. Do you have something you want me to put under here just in case? Huh? I just don't want too much oil to come out before I can slide that under. What? What are you doing? Really, really watch out. Are you making a video? Yeah. One, two, three, go to jail. I'm unscrewing it. We got it. So see, next what you need to do when you got your oil filter, when you got your oil filter, you would have gotten a new little O-ring here. You're gonna take this off and replace it with the new one before you put it back in your bike. And we're gonna wait for the oil to drain. To make the oil drain faster, you can go on the other side and take your dipstick out. So we're gonna do that next. Take out your dipstick, take out your dipstick. Stay tuned. So now we're gonna come over here. We're gonna take the dipstick out so that it lets some air in and the oil should hopefully drain a little bit faster. Cool. That's di dipstick's different. We're going to work on taking the oil filter off. You can see it's kind of in a weird location. So if you just take it off without this little handy catchy thing, it's going to drip oil all over. So you can get this at Harley. Now it's like, what, 20 bucks? 15 maybe? No. 29.95? You'll still leave spending at least $100. Oh well, yeah, $100. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna see how long that Pick works. up one of these. This actually fits right onto the top of the filter and it helps you crank it off really easily. Otherwise, um, it's a real bitch to get your hand in there, so good luck. Okay, so now we changed the little O-ring on here, and now we need to put this back in now that the oil stopped draining. So we're gonna climb back under and screw it back in. Oh, and you're not supposed to over-tighten it. Oh no, that's the filter. This we tighten. Okay, all right. Daniel is gonna do this. We're gonna bring the funnel over. We're gonna put it in there. Now that we have the screw back in, she's gonna start okay, filling so it back. What you're gonna wanna do, get your finger in the oil, your clean, fresh oil, and you just wanna do a thin layer right around the top to help it seal. That's it. All right, so next, this might be the hardest part. We'll see. Um, we put our handy dandy little funnel catcher or oil catcher. We're gonna take the wrench here, the little filter wrench, we're gonna try to get this on here and loosen the filter. So, and I also moved the oil pan so it catches. Now, if you don't have this, it sucks. Oh, see this? Is what... Oh, there we go. If you need it on enough. Why can't I get it on there? You know what? Okay, so we got it on there. It works best to kind of take this down first and then get it in there and then we can slide it back in. It actually kind of fits in itself. Put this on. Wait, righty tidy, lefty loosey. No, that's right. Okay. Oh my God, that is so easy. 
I, this is so easy. You want the tool, folks. Yes. Ah, oh, look at that. Beautiful. And out she comes. Oh, actually, I should probably leave that under there so that if any oil comes out of where it's sitting. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna take this off. Oh, I might need another rag. But. Someone get us paper towels, please. Oh, there's some right over there. Where is it? There's a packs of, oh no, it's toilet paper. I got oil all over. Goes to a slow drip. We pull out the little funnel holder thing so that it's not in the way anymore and we don't get our filter full of oil. And then we put our new fresh filter on there. Got it? Yep. And you just hand tighten it so you don't want to over tighten it. Just get it as hard as you can or tight as you can with just hand. Okay. Then if you want to go fill up the oil. That's all we got left. Don't pour it in too fast or the little funnel will overflow. So once you get done with everything for probably like four or five days, you're going to want to put like, use an old Amazon box that you ordered all your stuff with and put it underneath your bike because it might drip a little bit, which is perfectly normal. And last step is to put your little um, oil cap back on with your dipstick and you're all set. Let the oil settle for a little bit. Check your oil level and enjoy the ride.